All right, I'm going to take a look today at point timing on a 92 for the three people in the United States that might need to know this information. Uh, you come in through the wheel well, pop the cover off, and here's the point set up. Hopefully you can see that decently. The uh, ones on the right, the points over here on my right, are for uh, the front cylinder or the one that's to the outside wheel well. I'd call that number one. The ones that are on the left here are for cylinder number two. And the point timing is actually, uh, the timing on the vehicle is set at 10 degrees advanced and the point gap is set at 20. It's four to five millimeter or you know, 0 0.45, which is about 19, 20 thousandths is your point gap. But uh, the thing you have to be careful of when you do this, it's a two stage setup, is you're gonna set the right side first or the forward side or cylinder one, you'll set that to 10 degrees first. And you do that by rotating this whole assembly. There's a, a screw here and here and here. There's four, I think there's three of them that you take off or take loose and that allows that whole point assembly to rotate. And that sets your timing right here on, on number one. When you set it for number cylinder two, you use this left set of points, and now you actually loosen this top bolt here and this bottom bolt here. And when you loosen those, then there's a little bitty eccentric screw right there. You can turn clockwise or counterclockwise that adjusts your point gap. And then, and that, excuse me, it doesn't adjust the gap, but it adjusts the point timing. So you're setting the timing on the right first for cylinder one, and then the timing for cylinder two gets set by moving this independent point plate on the main point plate. So you've got a, a primary point plate, which is the large diameter, and then a small point plate, which is your, your secondary plate. So timing on the one first, and then this one. If you get it backwards, then when you change the timing on this plate, you'll change the timing on this plate. So it has to be done in sequence. But again, it's uh, 20 degrees, or excuse me, uh, uh, 20 uh, thousandths is your point gap, and the uh, timing is set at around 10. I run at 10, 11. Uh, these do have a tendency to ping a little bit, so I don't run them much higher than 11. So there's some, a little bit of help for those handful of people maybe setting point gaps. These points are very hard to come by. They do come up on eBay every now and then. If you see them, buy them. And XP Power in Sweden does sell a conversion kit to convert this to electronic ignition. I have not installed one yet, but I do have one. I'll put that on my daily driver. This car happens to be the uh, Heritage Collection 92 which is a 5292 and uh, we just got it in from the heritage collection and in the process of making it run properly that's all i got for today this is tom donnie signing off